Uh, when Pablo told me I will actually play against the Celtics, uh, first of all, my family came right away to, to Madrid. They fly from Serbia the same day. I played like six minutes. It was a dream come true. When you're a kid, you're not prepared for that. Like when you're 16, you only think about like achieving those goals. Like hey, I want to be there. I want to, to practice with the uh, uh, seniors. I want to do that. But I think after the years pass by, uh, you get to see that it's more easier to come there, but it's more difficult to like stay in that lane, stay in Real Madrid for years. That's, that's very difficult. So I think like uh, kids are, are not prepared. Like when I was not prepared, and I don't think anybody is prepared in that uh, when they are so young. So I think uh, a lot of young players will actually don't look that much social media or don't read that much newspaper, thinking about their future and more focus on their work. For me, it was very difficult because I had I was in Real Madrid and I had uh, Luca, uh, like my best friend and, and like a player of my age that was making. Uh, amazing things. So for me, it was even uh, even more difficult. Well, I feel very proud uh, when we was talking about uh, uh, him going there. Uh, I always knew he was going to have a really good career, not this good, that that fast. But we was always talking about how uh, for him would be a lot easier to play in NBA, how he would be uh, doing a lot of triple doubles, how he will uh, have more and and more. Uh, as the years go by, uh, more and more confidence, more uh, skill, be more skilled, and I think he's showing now everybody what he's capable of. Luca is special. Uh, he was uh, always special, and uh, the problem was, for example, when we would play and uh, he would get in the game, score 20 points, 15 points, and I would get in the game, uh, score four points. Even though I'm 17 years old, I would be very disappointed, and I think uh, in that moment that affected me a lot. But now uh, uh, I'm 23; he's almost 23 too. Uh, you get to see that everybody has his own uh, career, own way, own path and you just don't look what somebody else is doing and you focus on your work and your goals. I played with a lot of players that gave me a lot of advice. Gustavo Ion told me like when I was actually 16 and Luca made some amazing moves in the game. Uh, he actually told me like not to look up to Luca. He told me like even though he doesn't work or uh, he doesn't work hard, doesn't stay to shoot, you have to do it. Uh, always remember that and I was like uh, feeling that I have to, to do more work, 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 work to be on, on the level and now when I'm uh, here and I'm uh, trying to do uh, my best in ACB I still remember those words and I think it's very important. Well, I've been playing already five years, I changed uh, six teams. Uh, well, I will do it again because uh, uh, I was trying to find my, my way. It's very difficult for a young player. Uh, to make their, their name in ACB, to actually have uh, people respecting you, uh, not only fans, uh, referees, coaches to respect you. So I think uh, right now I'm, I'm, I'm feeling very good, very mature. I think that I uh, just started uh, and, and I have a lot of years. I would still like uh, to, to stay in ACB uh, like for the rest of my career because I don't think there's better league in, in Europe to play. So last year I was in the worst record team in ACB. We tried uh, not to go to, to second league, uh, even though we, we went to the second league because of many reasons. Uh, I think that was a very good year for me to see that uh, uh, individually that I can play on a big level and uh, to see what a team needs uh, to, to grow. So uh, I think those things are very important for every player to learn. I think every player uh, that wanted to make a step further had to be had to go one lower the highest highs and the lowest lows in the European basketball and I think that was uh, very good for me to just uh, see and learn uh, where I was at and where I want to be again two years ago I had uh, like really let's say uh, psychological um, difficulties uh, like I even wanted to stop playing because I was not feeling uh, very good. I was really depressed. So I think my family was very important in those moments for me. When I was under 18, I used to be very good. And when I came to senior basketball, sometimes I was worried if, if I'm alone under the basket, will I score? So I think uh, mental, mental is mental is a big problem if you don't know how to uh, how to carry it. Uh, because, uh, for example, what happened to me? I had personal problem. Then after I had a back injury, with, that stopped me three weeks. And then uh, after I came back, uh, coach told me he doesn't want me anymore. So uh, that was very tough for me. That's when I thought like, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't like it. I don't like to go to practice. Like every practice would be like a knockout to me. I used to hate it. So 
in that moment was very very tough but I'm just happy I, I gained back my uh, my motivation my confidence and I think uh, that is what made me really strong now my mother my father my sister had to sacrifice a lot not seeing me uh, just grow as a person and, and and just be around me every day like uh, uh, I didn't see my sister for example grow from a girl to woman like she's now you know and uh, I think those things when you are already here like uh, when you're already away from the family I think you just have to make uh, worth it my father is somebody who, who played the handball professionally so he knows a little bit about the professional world and he was uh, always the biggest uh, criticizer to me and telling me the truth uh, so I think that that is somewhat something that really helped me and, and my family that helps me every day. Being a basketball player is not easy but uh, just doing uh, what we love makes it trying to be easier. You know? Most of players say uh, that you lose love uh, as years goes by so I think uh, that every year you have to remind yourself that you have to love this game first to be successful so that's something that I always keep in my head.